Hi there, Ben here from Pallet Coffee Roasters in Vancouver. I'm the director of coffee here and we are here today to discuss the coffee we submitted for Leaderboard Season 2. Uh, we sent in a Couture varietal from Colombia. This coffee comes from El Verjal Estates and is produced by Shadi Bader and his brother Elias. Uh, this coffee is an anaerobic fermented natural process coffee and it showcases really sweet and, and juicy flavors. Um, I have a short video here from Shadi talking about the coffee himself and then we have some videos from some of the staff here just talking about what they like about the coffee. Hi everyone, my name is Shadi. I'm a coffee grower um, in Tolima region in Colombia. Uh, I have been working with Ben for almost a year it, with Pallet Coffee Roasters. Um, I have been growing coffee with my family and especially with my mom and my brother for around 10 years. We specialize in doing natural and crazy and new process at the farm, praying around a little bit with the fermentation, different drying process. Um, and uh, we make a special coffee uh, for Ben. Is a guava banana coffee. It's a caturra variety, yellow and red caturra. Um, we ferment it and we create a natural anaerobic uh, coffee. Hi everyone, um, my name is Andy. I'm the roaster here at Pallet and I'm really happy that we got to showcase uh, the guava banana coffee for you guys from Shadi Bader in Colombia. Um, one of my favorite things about this coffee in particular is that it is a really accessible uh, fermented coffee. And we all in specialty coffee love fermented coffees and I think a lot of people don't find them quite as accessible as maybe some of us with a more um, experienced palate. And I think that this coffee is, does a really good job of um, highlighting the things we love about fermented coffee but in a way that makes it more palatable to um, less experienced drinkers or people who are just getting into specialty coffee or things like that. And so that's one of the things I really enjoy about this particular coffee and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Hi, my name's Carl. I work here at the Roastery at Pallet Coffee Roasters. Uh, today we're talking about guava banana. Uh, one of my favorite coffees we have on the cycle right now. Um, I was lucky enough to be in when we sampled guava banana and the other samples that came from Shadi. Um, it's a partnership that we hope to continue. Um, it's been really fruitful uh, so far. Um, I think it's one of my favorite part of the job is trying new coffees, getting samples and sample roasting them and trying to see what tastes good, what tastes great, and what honestly is something that we want to serve in the cafe. Um, Guava Banana was one of those coffees for me. Uh, it really jumped out on the cupping table. It was fruity and juicy. It represented a different coffee that we hadn't really tried from Colombia at that point, um, and it was just it was just really nice. Um, one of the things now that we've tried a couple different coffees from Shadi is you start to recognize different producers, different uh, processing styles. Um, it's one of our shorthands in house, and we can say, "Oh, is this a Shadi coffee? Is this a Bader family coffee?" It's something that we've come to know and love. Um, and I think guava banana is a great introduction to that processing style and how they like to accentuate different flavors. Um, it's kind of come full circle now doing this as a leaderboard coffee as we just actually roasted our last batch of guava banana the other day. So here's to a continued partnership with Shadi and more guava banana in the future. Hi, I'm Quinn. I really like guava banana. It's a really unique, interesting expression of a Colombian coffee. I mean, it tastes really different from all the Colombian coffees I've had before. It's super clean, but it's also got some funk in it. As a filter coffee, it tastes really bright and juicy. Uh, as an espresso drink with milk, it tastes super rich and like a banana milkshake. <laughs> the way we went around trying to identify coffees in leaderboard is by looking at the shape and the size of the bean, um, separating them, looking at how many different kinds of shapes, size, uh, and, and different looking beans we could find in a small sample. And then trying to identify if it was washed, natural processed, um, just by visually looking at the, at the beans themselves. We then tasted the coffee 
both in a cupping session uh, through pour overs, and a couple of them we tried out on AeroPress as well. Um, what we look for in the coffee is any familiar notes that identify regions or processes or origins. And then once we find those, we write them all down. And then after we've written it all down, we try and look for those similarities. So what did it taste like? What did it look like? And that kind of helps us build an equation to figure out what that coffee could be. We hope everyone really enjoyed the guava banana coffee. Um, and we just want to say thanks for having us part of Leaderboard Season 2. And big thanks to Sunil and Grant. Um, and thanks very much.